to sue the sheriff's department because he of a case of mistaken identity. Darius Love, uh, who you'll know from the secret world of Alex Mack, he's also been on a lot of different TV See, shows. See his brother everywhere, CSI. very familiar face. Yes, very familiar face. And maybe that's the problem because he was, uh, was arrested uh, when police were chasing a, uh, an attempted, attempted burglars and felt that Darius was one of the suspects. He was uh, taken down, he was cuffed, uh, and held, he says, for five hours in custody before his name was cleared. And now, uh, as you would imagine, he is preparing for legal action against the sheriff's department. Darius is joining us right now to talk about this case that was really shocking for a lot of people here in L.A. just to see something like this happening. Darius, welcome to TMZ Live. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm here right now, and um, I had a great press conference yesterday. I want to thank TMZ first and foremost for having me on. And I just want to, uh, again, say, you know, it's one of those unfortunate things that keeps continuously happening in America because I have a voice and somewhat of a platform and a celebrity. I'm going to use it to help stop this thing from happening. It's got to stop. So, Darius, you were, uh, you were just at, you were leaving, I understand you were leaving the Apple store uh, at the mall in Glend at the Glendale Galleria when suddenly you were surrounded by police uh, and held down on the ground and taken away. Tell us what happened. Tell us about that moment when you walked out and yeah. then all of a sudden, you know, you're, uh, you know, public enemy number one. Basically, you know, I went to the Glendale, I went to the Americana. If anybody knows, the Glendale Galleria and the Americana are completely separate from yes. each other. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Other, so, other mall in, in, in Glendale. Yeah. So I'm at the actual Americana where the I store is. My, I went out, I just got out of town from filming a movie, The Rock in St. Louis. And my girlfriend, fiance to be, um, says, hey, you know, you've been gone. I want to spend some time with you. Come hang out. So we end up going with her to do her women pampering day, you know, nails and things of that nature. And then we go to the Apple store and she has to get an appointment. So it takes an hour for her to get an appointment to sync her pager uh, watch with her, her phone watch with her phone. Long story short, we're at H&M, we're at um, Forever 21 shopping, and I got a timestamp. I'm on camera to prove that I'm not the suspect that broke into these houses, that they were surveillance and watching. Um, I didn't steal a car and create a high-speed chase, and I damn sure wasn't at the Glendale Galleria where the uh, crime scene ended up being because I was at the Americana, which is driving. You have to drive to get to where the actual crime scene was. So how could I, if you were chasing me, run all the way to the Americana, you lose me, and I'd be the suspect knowing I got a timestamp ticket that I'm just going to go get validation for and I'm on camera at the time of the, the crime. Darius, so what, what, I, I, yeah, go ahead. real quick question. You were detained for five hours. Did they give you any explanation as to why it took so long for them to uh, ascertain your, identi your identity, who you were? Nah, they, they threw me in the car. I, you know, after slamming me on the ground, guns to my head. You know, I, I, it, it, now when I hear sirens, or I hear police, I think they still coming for me. Because if anybody knows, when you got that many police officers and guns to your face and what's happening in America this day, you, you don't have time to think, freeze, or do anything but just get on the ground. So as they throw me on the ground, to answer your question, they put a gun on my head, put their knee in the back of my neck, damn near rip my rotator cuff on my shoulder out, and throw me in the back of the car for an hour before they say anything. One of the police officers comes and puts on the AC and asks me my story. I say, hey, look, I got my validation ticket with a time code on it. I, I'm on camera. I don't even know what's going on, but I know I'm not your guy. It could have took them 10 minutes to discover everything I was saying was true. One hour led to two hours in the car. They drove me to the, the crime scene. The sheriff IDs me as the suspect and says, book him. Now, at that moment, I'm going, you guys aren't even listening to me. I didn't know what was going on for two hours. Now you're saying I'm guilty and you're booking me and taking me to the station? So, so they didn't, so they said, you're the suspect, book him, but... They weren't, so you're saying that the sheriff's department was not paying any attention to the fact that you had, you had exactly. two alibis. You had two exactly. very strong alibis. Who, how, right, how and I got a witness. End up, how did you end up, who, who figured out that uh, you did have alibis and that you're not the suspect? It was the West Valley Division. They went against the sheriff's um, uh, word and reinvestigated what he had said and discovered that my story was true. That's, LAP, that's LAPD you're Somebody talking about. LAPD, right. West Valley Division, 
Lieutenant Plucky. You know, these guys were guys. That's why, you know, at the end of the day, I can't say that this is a, a, a hate police thing, but I'm not happy. I'm not, I'm not happy that this happened to me. I'm an American like anybody else out enjoying my day with my fiance, just coming back from working, doing a movie. And, you know, it's not a crime to, to, to quickly run or walk to get your validation ticket. You guys had these suspects in your eye and peripheral. You're chasing them. Uh, my description doesn't even fit who they are. I don't even know if they caught the guys. I was just the guy at the wrong place at the wrong time that happened to be black. And I had a witness who was with me, which was my girlfriend, and she got um, pulled out of her car. They broke it, broke her stuff in her car, impounded it, dogs, guns to her head. She's traumatized. We're having issues, you know, because she's uh -huh. not safe. We don't even, we got, we want to move. We, we feel like, you know, just for going out and speaking publicly about this, now we become enemies of the police, which is not the case because I'm not saying all police are bad. Actually, if it wasn't for police officers, good police officers doing their job, I'd still be behind bars fighting for my innocence. Right. If well, it wasn't for, maybe if you weren't a celebrity as well, you might have been. That, that point, that point, brother. And that's right. why, for me, I got to step out and I got to say, I have a voice. I have a platform. I got to help with this initiative because it keeps happening. And I want people to be compassionate. I want people to look at this not as a black or a white thing, as a hate all police thing, but as a human thing. If you were in this situation, what would you do? How would you respond? And some people don't live to tell. I was just blessed and fortunate to be alive and tell my story and be innocent and tell my story and more importantly be free. So mm. thank you TMZ and well, I'm glad that you are glad that you are free and you, and that you're having a chance to tell your story. Uh Darius, thanks so much for joining us and uh good luck going forward. Yeah, brother. Um uh, you hold your head, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you guys. I salute TMZ. Harvey, enjoy the break. And big <laughs> shout out to Jeff Cohen and the whole ITA and also the Johnny Cochran firm, James Bryan, my lawyer. We're going hard with this, man. We're going to make this a, a real issue um, for all people, not just black people, not just... It's all lives matter. It's not a black lives matter issue. All lives matter. All lives are affected. Thank TMZ again. Have a all great right. day, everyone. Okay, Signing thanks out. so much, Darius. All right. Uh, we are going to take a break. When we come back, 